Rough Edges, the story of a family struggle against the ups and downs of life. Watch out for details. Daisy. 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 Get up and drink tea. I got tea for you. Nan. You know you haven't had anything since today. Please. Please. Let me bring it for you. Try and eat up. Try and drink it. Even if it's half of it. Please. Daisy. All this wrong now. What is wrong? Did someone die? Even if someone is dead, can't you tell me? Honestly, I don't understand this your sit down look attitude as if as if eh? Chris Osage must be released as quickly as possible. Either tonight or tomorrow morning latest. Chief. Osagi was arrested for fraud. Ten million naira. I think I just I've just told you that he is innocent. I'm sure you have very good reasons for this, but there's an already going investigation. I'm sh I think we should wait. Well, I think he should not. I am the chairman of this board. Remember. And the managing director, and I reserve the power to say what happens and what does not happen. Can't you understand? Total powers. Bet with my advice. Which I am at liberty to either accept or reject. And in this case, my choice is obvious. Why this? Why this sudden interest in Osagi's affairs? Look, it's neither here or there. I am relying on you, managing director. And of course, he gets his job back. His job? I don't know how you look at it, but I am telling you that right now, that guy has to be released immediately and his job back to him. I'm not going to be fine, sir. It's none of your business. You are being paid to do a job. Must you smoke that disgusting thing in my house? You smoke Sigya. I smoke Ganja. Let me say smoke Ganja on me, I do hope I'm not going to have any trouble with you at all. Because I must tell you, I'm fed up with people's disappointments right now. I should. As many demand of me, yeah. Ulu Maso. I'm a talkish. We will be just rest. So we visit by God. Do come on. I will get any message to tell God to him. How can you bring God's name into a matter like this? No, no, no. Time don't buy. Don't talk as this. Now, now, actual time. You ready for me? Half now. Half when the job is done. I'm saying, we are going to go and I'll come back. We will be just rest. You want to sit down, wait for news. Show you where. I'll get it. You should go home with me. Go with me. Where? Um, uh, Auntie, my mom just called and my brother was ill. I wanted to visit him for a few days. With all this? I will. Now, my king will not see banana for house. He will not see banana tree there outside. Don't worry, Wanda. Go and visit your ill whatever.
gross. Don't you think you'll be better off in your bed right now? It's past midnight. I'm waiting for Princess. I can see that. But it's obvious Princess is going to be laid home. That is if she comes home at all. A few nights sleep will do you good, don't you think? It's obvious our thinking patterns are not at all related. How can I sleep when my house is on fire? My husband in prison. Prison or police cell, you mean? Prison, cell, whatever. Is it not the same iron bars that surround him? My daughter, my young daughter, is out there somewhere at this ungodly hour. And you expect me to be snoring peacefully? Rose, your challenges right now require a sound body and mind. That a few hours will give you. I'm only trying to help. This family does not need that type of help, Becky. Perhaps without your help, my daughter will be in her own bed like every other normal young woman. By that you mean? By that I mean that it is obvious where Princess's strange behavior is coming from. Don't think I haven't heard about your escapades. My escapades? My escapades saved your sorry ass from rotting in a police cell. And those same escapades are working damn hard right now to set your husband free. And for that, you must destroy my family? Is that the thing you're charging us? Becky, this family has suffered so much. Please don't add that extra burden again. Please, leave Princess alone. What do you mean leave Princess alone? Am I carrying her on my back? Look, woman, you better be occupied thinking where you went wrong raising your daughter instead of looking for a convenient chef to hang your blames on. I didn't go wrong raising her. I brought up my children in a strict, God-fearing house. Spare me. If I want to listen to good preaching, I know where to turn to. Results, they say, never lie. If you did such a wonderful job raising your daughter, and if I'm really the devil, you say I am, how come? I spent only a few weeks destroying what you used 20 plus years to build. Didn't the Bible say, bring up your child well, and when he's grown, he will not disappear from it. When he's old, he will not depart from it. <laughs> Thank you. I leave the quotes to you. But my point is, if princess is behaving differently right now, whose fault is it? My for a couple of weeks, or yours, for a lifetime. Rose, you spent weeks incarcerated. Your first daughter neither asked after you, nor visited you. Why? Don't you think that should be your real concern? Drums, watch you quickly. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it.
Uh, Princess, is there something you want in particular because I'm going to the office as you can see? To the office. Can we sit down? It will only take five minutes. No, two minutes and we'll be standing. It's okay. It's about my dad, Lisa. I am reliably informed that you are the principal witness in the case against him. Well, the thing is, I would really appreciate your help in proving his innocence. My dear, I am very sorry. There is nothing I can do. The case is with the police now, all right? There's nothing I can do. I'm not even allowed to talk about it. See, I understand your concern for your father. Though I'm surprised that it's, it's not your mother that is here, but you. But like I already told you, my dear, there's nothing I can do. The case is off my hands now. All right? And I'm running late for work, so... I will tell you why it is I am not my mother here. It's because I'm no longer daddy's little girl. The little princess you used to know is a big girl now. And this big girl is determined to get her daddy out. Hmm. Very commendable. Very, very commendable. But can we talk about it on our way out? Lisa! What hold does Uche Ambi have on you? Is only in there, Mr. Walton? 2.5 million. <sighs> thank you, man. Thank you. I, I just can't believe all this. I can't. Well, so is cash in Krishna and Stone's life. Uh, yeah. can, can I make withdrawals now? It's your money, Mr. Bolton. Okay. You can make anything you like with it. But first, the end you would like to see me. Right now? Yeah, it will take only five minutes. Okay. Uh, so uh, 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 where? I know Oche. More to the point, I know his methods exceptionally well. I also happen to know that cheap blackmail is a particular favorite of his. My father is innocent, Lisa. You and I know that. We both also know that you and my father had a, let's say, cordial relationship. So, he was my boss. He is, Lisa. Please use the present tense when referring to my dad. He is not dead. And you can bet your last undies that he is coming back to that office. You were pressured into testifying against my father because Oche has something on you. I want to know what, and I want to know why he used it now. No, I, I, I can't. Listen, Lisa, I can help you. But you have to help me first. How can you help me? You're just a baby. This baby has teeth, Lisa. If Oche is a shark, then I'm a piranha. Smaller teeth, perhaps, but infinitely more dangerous. Oche will kill you. Not if I kill him first. My dad will be released anyways. What I'm actually preparing for is the real battle ahead. You fight on my side, then you're my friend. If you fight against me... Well, my card. If Oche is working against my dad, like I believe he is, he's going to fall, and fall hard. For your sake, I hope you don't fall with him. that you can't tell me.
Anyway, since you don't want to talk to me about it, I think I will have to wait until such time that you are ready to talk. For now, I'm going to the office. Can I get my pack now? Hmm? Mm. Okay. Please try and eat something. You know you have not eaten some. I've told Naya to prepare something for you. Try and eat, okay? I love you. It is well. The story of a family struggle against the ups and downs of life. Watch out for details.